Suva, capital of Fiji, welcomes performers to the first South Pacific Festival of Arts. In a magnificent ceremony at Albert Park, a sacred tambour and a bowl of yangona or kava is presented to the Governor General, Sir Robert Foster. In May 1972, the island nation of Fiji joyously welcomed the opportunity to host the first South Pacific Festival of Arts. Initiated by the Pacific Community SBC, it brought together over 1,000 participants from 14 countries in the region. Large crowds flocked to the capital Suva as the best that the Pacific has to offer took center stage day and night in 20 different theaters, parks and halls. Extrovert Cook Island dancers from the green volcanic land southeast of Fiji use powerful drum rhythms to accompany their joyous dance movements. This marked the beginning of an important effort to strengthen Pacific Island ties and gain a deeper respect and appreciation for our diverse cultural heritage within the context of a changing Pacific. Since 1972, the festival itself began to grow and change as it made its journey across the vast Pacific Ocean. New Zealand was next to host in 1976. And when Papua New Guinea hosted in 1980, the inclusion of delegations from Hawaii and Guam asserted North Pacific presence in the festivities. This resulted in a name change to the Festival of Pacific Arts when French Polynesia played host in 1985. The festival then moved down under to Australia in 1988. Then across to Cook Islands in 1992. Samoa in 1996. New Caledonia at the turn of the millennium. And Palau four years later. In 2008, American Samoa took up the mantle as host of the 10th Festival of Pacific Arts. Forty years since its maiden voyage, the festival spirit was carried to the shores of Solomon Islands in 2012. For the first time, Guam welcomes delegations from across distant Pacific shores as hosts of the 12th Festival of Pacific Arts. Um, you know, it's been eight years since the last one, so 2016 was in Guam. And, you know, I think coming out of COVID, uh, everyone's really excited to be at this next FESPEC. And, you know, it's an extremely important festival for the region. It's one of the oldest indigenous festivals in the world. And it's important that we need to regularly have this um, get together so that we can share the knowledge. Pacific people, uh, where we share, you know, a common history. Um, we, we share, uh, you know, there's a lot of commonalities in terms of our cultures. Our, our language um, and also it's an avenue that brings everyone together to, to celebrate. I get to host the 13th Festival of Pacific Arts not just to reciprocate the love and the generosity of all of the countries who've hosted us in the past but it is our kuleana, it is our responsibility to showcase our own people, our elders, our values, our culture we are the most isolated country in the entire world, in the middle of the Pacific. 
and it's time for us to stand up and be proud and share who we are with everyone who's coming to FestPAC in 2024.